In the previous video, we learned how to insert images from various sources. In this video, we will learn how to modify an image using picture toolbar. Modifying an image by resizing, cropping and rotation shall be discussed in the next video. To use the picture toolbar, an image has to be inserted first. Once you insert the image, you can see the picture toolbar. In case the picture toolbar does not appear, you can always click on view toolbars and picture, then it will be displayed. We can also drag it to the standard toolbar and place it besides the formatting toolbar. Two other toolbars can be opened from this one. The first one is the graphics toolbar. You can make it as a floating toolbar from this picture toolbar. This graphics toolbar helps us to change the color of the images to grayscale, black and white or watermark by simply selecting the image and choosing the appropriate options. The second toolbar which can appear as a floating toolbar is the color toolbar. When you click on the color toolbar, you can get to see the different components red, green and blue. We can also make changes to the brightness, contrast and the gamma value which is the depth of the image. We can always undo our actions by pressing Ctrl Z to restore the default values. We can also flip an image vertically or horizontally by selecting the image and clicking on the relevant icon. We can change the transparency of the image by choosing this particular box that appears on the screen. And this is useful when we are creating a watermark or when we are wrapping the image in the background. Let me show you a demo of this. I am opening the OpenOffice Writer, inserting an image by clicking on Insert Picture from File. Now I am choosing the image and clicking on open. The image gets inserted into the document. Now you can see this toolbar which is the picture toolbar. Additionally you can see one more toolbar on the top. Now in the picture toolbar you can move it and dock it to the formatting toolbar. You can make it floating by dragging and dropping it. The first option is from file when we click on it, we can insert more pictures. The second option there is filters that I'll be discussing in a short while. The third option is the graphics mode. Fourth one is color. Fifth one is transparency. And the sixth one is to flip. Now let us see the graphics mode. I'm clicking on the options. The first one is grayscale. When I choose it, the image gets converted to grayscale. I am trying black and white option. Now I am trying the watermark option. As you can see changes are happening as soon as I click on the options. To get it back to default simply click on default. Now when I click on color there is one more toolbar which appears which changes the red green, blue, the brightness, contrast and gamma value. Let us change it one by one. I am making the red component to 80%, 100%. You can see the image changing accordingly. Now let me try to change the green component and see what happens. Now I am changing the blue component. As you can see, the image turns blue when I change. Now I am changing the brightness. So a faint image appears when I change the brightness. Now I will go ahead and change the contrast. 
there is a difference in the sharpness of the image. Now let me change the gamma value. It modifies the depth of the image. See the image has a different depth as I change the value. Now I am bringing it back to default 1%. Now let me show you what happens when you click on transparency. We get a transparent image. This can be used as a background when we are typing a document. Or this is helpful when we wrap the text around the image. When I flip it horizontally, I see a mirror image to the left and when I flip it vertically, I see a mirror image which is down. Now let's learn about the filters. The best way to understand filters is to see them in action. So feel free to experiment with different filters and filter settings. You can always undo the changes in three ways. One is by pressing Ctrl Z. The other is by pressing Alt and Backspace and the third is by pressing Edit and Undo. So let's have a quick demo of all these. I'm opening the gallery of OpenOffice Writer. I'm first going to take the picture of the house from environment. I'm dragging and dropping it. Now in the picture toolbar, I'm going to click on filters and use the first picture filter that's inward you can see that the image is getting inverted now let's try the next one for the second filter i am taking an arrow and dragging it big so that you can see the changes now when i'm going to apply the smooth filter you can see that the edges are getting softened okay you can clearly see that the edges are softened now I'm going to take the same picture and I'm going to sharpen it. Let me take the same picture again. I'm going to apply the sharpen effect. It increases the contrast making the edges look sharp. Now I'm going to apply the fourth filter which is to remove the noise. So I am taking the image of a flower. Let me make it a little big. Now this filter remove noise is going to remove all the single pixels in the image. So the image appears a little blur. This is the effect of remove noise. Let me show how solarization works. I am taking the image of two hands shaking. I'm going to apply the solarization effect which mimics the effect of too much light in a picture. I am going to keep the threshold value as 50. Now this is how it changes. Now let me try to invert it. This is how it appears. Now to show the effect of aging, I am choosing the transport theme and using the picture of a bus. Now when I apply aging effect, it simulates the effects of time on a picture. So I have applied 10% aging in this picture. Now let me try to apply say 30%. This is how it changes. Now let me explain how posterize filter works. I am taking environment and globe. Now I am going to apply the posterize effect on this picture. I am changing the number of colors to 4. See only 4 colors are applied to this picture. Now let me explain how pop art filter works. I am going to take the picture of pollution factory. Choose the filter pop art. This will dramatically modify the picture. Looks interesting, isn't it? Now let's try to use the charcoal filter. 
I am taking the briefcase in finance theme. Let me apply the filter to see what happens here. As you can see, this is how it is going to show the output. Now the next effect relief. I am taking a picture. I am going to apply the filter relief. There are various options here. How will the picture appear if the light falls from top right corner? On the top, on the top left corner, on the left side, on the bottom left, at the bottom, on the bottom right, and on the right. Now this is in the center. Now the picture will change accordingly. Now let's apply the mosaic filter. I am taking a picture from finance again and choosing the filter mosaic. Now the pixels are set to 4. I am not enhancing the edges. As you can see the image appears a little blur. Now let me apply the same filter by enhancing the edges. This is how it changes. So in this session we have learned how to modify an image to suit the document with the help of picture toolbar. The remaining three options which is resizing, cropping and rotation will be discussed in the next video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can leave your comments below. Thank you very much.